Hi guys, welcome to your style leisure. Today I'll be taking you around our Remor Super Brig 695. Um, this is the 2020 model, uh, so come and join me inside. So welcome into the cab of this Remor Super Brig. Uh, at the minute we've got the, the bed set up in the, the driving configuration so it's folded up. Um, this does give you a nice bit of extra space in the front and a bit, bit more headroom. This is covered in a nice leather finish um, and it's the same with the seats. Very nice thick leather so they're really nice and comfortable seats. Also in this van we've got the, uh, the reversing camera which is hidden away in the rear view so it doesn't have to be on all the time, can be turned off. And then lastly we've got a, a lovely uh, leather at steering wheel and gear selected with this being the top of the range model. So here I'm sat in the front captain's chair. The do swivel, so both seats, obviously you've seen them before facing forward, they swivel round and it's a nice addition that adds to the uh, to the dinette, it incorporates the cab in the van. Um, so if we look just above me, we've got the uh, the first bed, so this is a huge double bed, it's the biggest bed in the van, uh, I mean you could quite happily fit three people in this bed. Uh, there's a nice soft touch headliner above and then also you've got a roof light uh, with it in the premium model so it, plenty of light does flow in down the van. If you do have small children, there is a net which clips up the top, so there's going to be no issues with uh, keeping the children safe. Um, if we move down, we've got the dinette. So like I mentioned before, we've got these front seats swivelled, um, so you can fit six people around this dinette essentially. Uh, the table at the minute is tucked away in the configuration where it's kind of out your way. If you do want to pull it out, nice and easy, you've got double the space, it does swivel, so you can have it set up to whichever whichever direction you want to have it. Um, we'll put that back. And then there's also two seat belts on this back bench, so there's four travelling seat belts, uh, which is nice. So on the side of this bench, we've also got a little slide out. So there are infill cushions, so you can have a little bit more extra seating room or leg room if you want to put your feet up at night. And um, back in. And we've just got a little bit of extra storage around the outside. So here we are in the kitchen. You're greeted by a lovely work surface and then you've got your stainless steel sink. And just to the left of that, we've got the three burner hob. Also we've got a built-in uh, kitchen roll holder, again more storage just like the whole front of the van, another LED strip light. Uh, beneath the worktop, got another drawer, again LED strip light above it, and you've got a built-in cutlery drawer. Both of these two lower drawers are soft close. There we go. Um, on the very floor there are some blue LED mood lighting, again just adds features to the van. And then just to the to the right of the, the kitchen, we've got this beautiful feature light. Uh, if we move over to this side of the van, we've got our Dometic fridge. The key feature of this fridge is it does open both ways, which is fantastic for the user. If you do ever have two people cooking in the kitchen, you're not going to be getting under each other's legs. And then above, we've got the, the freezer. Again, opens both ways. Top of this, we've got the oven. Uh, and then just above me, we've got another roof light which again, adds more fantastic light into the van. Comes all the way down, you'll never struggle for light in this van. Um, and then also, this is probably the low point of the van. With the front, it did have the uh, the bed, and I'm six foot one, plenty of headroom in here. You'll never struggle for headroom.
welcome to the back of the van. Uh, so as we go to the right, we've got the toilet room. So starting off at the bottom, we've got our Thetford toilet. This is a cassette toilet. Uh, it does swivel so you can have it facing, so you've got plenty, plenty of leg room in here. Just underneath the sink, we've got an extra bit of storage uh, with your uh, toilet roll holder. The sink is transparent, key feature to this van. Um, and then above that, we've got a mirror, which does double up as another cupboard. Above, we've got a roof light, so you are getting natural light in the toilet when the door is shut. Uh, and then on the opposite side of that, we've got a shower. Um, lovely rain head, uh, and it is magnetic, so you can have this shower head set to whichever position you want, or you've got a more permanent fixing, which you can have it set there. As we move down, we've got some cut-out shelves, so you can keep all your toiletries and everything in there, but plenty of space. Um, and then to the right, we've got the door, which is held back on a latch, and then it just pulls across, and it is on the magnet on this side that fixes shut. Here we are in the bedroom, um, just starting off just underneath the bed, we've got the first of the two cupboards. So there's a nice rail so you can hang your clothes up and then also you've got shelves to uh, to fold your clothes up so you're not short of storage at all. Uh, very similar cupboard on this side underneath the, the left bed, so you kind of got a his and hers side. So at the minute the beds are two single beds and I'm sat in the middle of the two so you, you can have it set like this or you've got the option of the filling cushions put in so you've got the support at the bottom of these filling cushions and then a rail here so you can have those sat nice and flush and then you can kind of have a properly proper double bed um, also got a set of ladders if you are struggling to get up you can just hook the ladders on and you can get up that way around both the both sides of the beds we've got more storage uh, you can fit all your items up there got your curtain at the side and then moving around to the back, two reading lights for, for each side, nice headboards, um, and then more storage just like throughout the van, LED strip light above, um, and then we've got the mirror. Uh, normally the mirror give you a lovely nice pan back down the van, as you can see our film crew are there now, um, and then just above me we've got another roof light. So finally you join me on the outside of the van. This particular van's powered by the Fiat Ducato engine. Um, it's a 2.3 and it's got 140 brake horsepower. It's got body color bumper, so it looks nice and sleek. Um, and then this year, they did change on the 2020 model, the overcab bed, just to make it look a bit more sleek, a bit more modern. Uh, moving back down the van, we've got the battery locker, sorry, the gas locker. Um, you can fit two bottles in there, no problem, plenty of space, and uh, it's, it's not too hard to get them through the door. And then a bit further back, we've got the, uh, the cassette toilet. Um, it's at a nice height, so it's nice and easy to get out from there. Also, this van's got alloy wheels on stand as standard as it is the top of the range model. Um, and at the very back, we've got the garage, which fantastic, fantastic bit of space, perfect for any motorsports. Uh, quite easy to fit two full-time motorcross bikes in the back of here. Built-in storage is standard. Uh, it's tied up points around the bottom. And we've also got a checker plate, uh, and there is a bit of light in here as well. Um, so moving around to the back of the van. Again updated for this year, nice little light, light unit, uh, make it look, look a bit more modern. This particular van does have an over, over uh, sorry, a top camera on the back. And then another access point to the garage. So you can access from both sides, make it nice and easy for you. That's the exhaust for the Truma boiler that's on this van, and a bit more external storage here. Hookup point, and then this van also has an onboard tank, so the fill-up point is just here. Um, and that's our tour concluded around our Remore Super Bridge. So if you'd like any more information, feel free to give us a call, and if you'd like to come down and view it, we're more than happy to, uh, to show you around it. Thank you.